front face lock and an escape with a foot on the bottom rope by BK Jordan. And to this point, we've seen very little offense here from the Interstate Champion. And you can see it in the face of BK, he is definitely frustrated. Calling for a timeout. I doubt that's gonna work here. Now BK may be getting himself uh, a little fired up here doing some jumping jacks. Frankie's had it up, and he is hot on the trail of BK on the outside. BK able to toss Arion back in. Catches him with a boot. Now a front face lock here by the Interstate Champion of Top Row Promotions. And they finally be ready to mount some offense here in this title defense. Quick escape into a hammer lock by Frankie. Turns it into a pinning combination over and gets a two count and right back to the hammer lock. Quick elbow. Got Frankie flush on the side of the face. Roll up and a two count only. Looks like BK is, he's trying for a couple quick pinfalls here out of nowhere. Trying to escape, I think, this title defense with a quick victory. Smart move here by the champion with the armbar and also Stepping over and now sitting on the back of Arion using his own weight. That's some pressure to the armbar. Frankie nodding no, he's not giving up. Trying to fight back to his feet. And he makes it. Into the midsection by Arion. He escaped, but caught a forearm right across the back of the net. BK shoots himself off. Frankie comes off the other side and gets him with a big clothesline. And another one. Frankie's got him up. Airplane spin right in the middle of the ring. Both men a little woozy, but BK. Feeling more of the ill effects. Down on his back and only a two count there. Not sure BK knows yet where he is. Again, signaling for a timeout, but I don't think Rich Bass will acknowledge it. I know Frankie won't. Big forearm in the corner. Sends him across. Chargers up forearm again. Now Frankie up. On the second turnbuckle. Unloading with heavy right hands. And now pounding away with both fists. Oh, he got caught with a low blow there. And I think Rich Bass was screened from it. Bass was on the outside of the ropes. And a three count out of nowhere for BK Jordan, who somehow escapes his title defense with a successful victory over Frankie Allen. Arion had to control 80, 85% of that match. But the low blow that Rich Bass was screened from, in the end, leads to a victory and successful title defense for the top row promotion interstate champion, BK Jordan.
It's main event time. Here on Top Rope Promotions. As the Top Rope Promotions Heavyweight Championship is on the line, Heaven with John and Angel defending against Buck Nasty with a quick one to count right there and a schoolboy. Buck Nasty pulled off a huge upset as you saw earlier in the episode by winning an over the top battle royal, thus earning this title shot against Johnny Angel. On the outside there you can see Leo Morrison who has been associated with Buck Nasty for quite some time, but the two of them have had well documented problems which has led to Leah slapping Buck Nasty numerous times over the past several months here in Top Rope. Promotions and Buck was just taking it each and every time. Dropped down by Angel up and over the top goes the challenger leapfrog by Angel. Goes for a schoolboy and gets it. Cross body by Angel and only a two count. Over the top sunset flip. Two count again. Several near falls here in the opening minute or two of this heavyweight title match. As I mentioned, there has been ongoing problems between Liam Morrison and Buck Nasty. He has been in Buck's corner as she is tonight for several matches. They have been part of mixed tag team matches. And Buck Nasty has been on a tremendous losing streak, which has not made Leah happy, but she's gotta be happy with the huge upset he pulled off earlier, winning that over the top rope battle royal and getting this title shot. Hip toss blocked and returned by Angel, and Buck Nasty to the floor, and look at, Leah's right in his face right away, and smacked him in the back of the head. Screaming at him, telling him, get him back in the ring. Some of the problems I spoke of that these two have had been like a soap opera for several months with Buck Nasty and Leah Morrison. Oh, Leah grabbing the ankle of the champion on the outside and now Buck to the floor and he, now he's getting in her face. He's telling her he can handle this on his own. He doesn't need her interference. Up and over the top comes Buck. And he is in the corner.